very ferocious storm, unforgiving storm. We could actually feel the entire house just shuddering, literally shuddering. Prayed to God. Everybody was praying to God. It sounded like bullets hitting the room. I had been through quite a few hurricanes, and this one scared the devil out of me. A lot of destruction, a lot of destruction. Charlie, Francis, Ivan, and Jean. Of the deadly foursome, only Ivan reached a Category 5, making U.S. landfall just shy of a Category 4 in the early morning hours of September 16, 2004. Exposed to the most dangerous quadrant of the storm, coastal residents of Gulf Shores, Alabama and Pensacola, Florida prepared for battle on the front line. Winds of 130 miles an hour and more. Nearly a foot and a half of rain. Lethal storm surges. And spin-off tornadoes. Ivan attacked with everything. Like so many others across Florida, approximately 40% of the homes in the Pensacola area were leveled or damaged beyond repair. It wasn't long after the hurricanes that homeowners across Florida began to call or write one after another with dramatic stories they wanted to tell. Some of the most dramatic came from Pensacola within just days of Ivan. Our Timo sunroom has been through two storms, a tornado that landed directly on the house and Hurricane Ivan. During the hurricane, the room didn't budge even though we felt like the roof, well, the roof was coming off the whole house and off the sunroom and the screen porch. We even had a limb land on the Florida room and it didn't even affect it. All of a sudden I heard crack. Crunch. <laughs> Crunch, pop. It's 2.30 and we were in the middle of it. I mean, the wind was blowing outside. It was just a howling and stuff. I couldn't figure out what the noise was. Got the flashlight went back into the bedroom because that's where it had come from and uh, great big old tree in the house. Actually the the sunroom survived even though one of the one of the major branches had come down across it and when I got up there with the chainsaw and started cutting it down I, I said oh this this glass is pretty messy looking. It was just dirty. When I hosed it off it cleaned right up. It didn't scratch it. It uh, fared very well and now it's our bedroom until we get the other skylight fixed. <laughs> It withstood all of this pressure, and I was woke up that morning and I was expecting it to be gone. But it withstood that 140 mile an hour wind and tornadoes, so it was excellent. There was no doubt in my mind about that it would be here once the storm got over with. But the damage is what really surprised me, that there was no damage to it at all. It was pretty scary. The, when the tree fell on the house, the ceiling fell, and we all ran into the Timo room. A pretty good sized tree on the Timo room, and uh, I was surprised, really what was. It, it lasted as well as it did. A lot of people were walking by, driving by, and slowing it's down. slowing down to look at the uh, destruction that we had here and noticing that uh, mm -hmm. the, uh, some of you asked me, wow, hey, your, your uh, sunroom there lasted? I said, yeah, uh, we were real surprised that uh, it did. It's a wonderful room. Right now, uh, with the house being destroyed, it's our sleep room. Uh, scared the rest of the house is going to fall, but at least that thing's still going to be there. <laughs> It'll still <Nope>. be there. <laughs>
There was a lot of damage in the neighborhood. We fared fairly well, and this sunroom fared better than any other part in the house. Other areas of the house, we had uh, water coming in under the windows, had water coming in the front door, a metal door that was bent. This Timo sunroom survived the hurricane and didn't leak at all. I'm really pleased. Well, what was really amazing about this, we've had uh, seven uh, jobs done on this house now uh, using Timo products and like. We left the sunrooms because we had enough confidence in the product. We left the sunrooms essentially as you see them right now. And there wasn't as much as a drop of water on the inside. We were just thoroughly amazed. Absolutely amazed and very satisfied. Just overall, the durability, you could, you could see the quality difference compared to other similar Absolutely. products. There was a lot of damage and a lot of the sunrooms, uh, competitor sunrooms or sunrooms are even built by, let's say, individual contractors. They just didn't seem to bear up. They don't, I don't think they were as tested as well as the products from Timo, and uh, I think it really reflects that. Two trees on a house, the house is crushed. I mean, it's gone, it's finished. But the Timo room, it lasted, and we're gonna have it put back up on the other house. <laughs> it's the most beautiful room you could ever have. When you sit in there and the sun sets, it's the most beautiful thing you ever seen. Thank you for building such a great building that we greatly appreciate all the work that's gone into this one. Oh Lord, we enjoy it the most in the world. For more than 30 years, Timo has set the highest standards in the sunroom industry for design, performance, safety, and quality. Through dedicated engineering, testing, and certification, a Timo sunroom is built to last a lifetime. When you want to bring more of nature in, or when you need to keep it out, Timo and our family of dealers that install our sunrooms with precision and care are proud to provide the sunroom homeowners most trust in Florida and around the country.